Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it today on the table from Metal Earth, the Golden Golden Gate Bridge. And as you can see I've actually already finished it which is a little unusual for my videos. But yeah, let's start off by opening up the package, see what's inside, talk about some tools and go through the steps of putting this model together. San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge in gold. This is some of the newer packaging, so this is a fairly recent model, not one that I've been sitting on for a while. But inside, probably about the same stuff. We have our metal sheet. Not a whole lot of parts there. Pretty quick build. And we have our instructions. Blank on the back. It's the taller kind. Older style, but looks like it's been cleaned up and updated maybe a little. Hmm. Let's see here. What do we have? We have our usual and you're probably if you've watched a number of these videos or built these models before you're already somewhat familiar with these instructions but you have your line drawing of the, the completed kit and the sheet. You've got your 360 view, the QR code you can scan with your phone or just go to this web address you can see 360 view of the model if you're having trouble. We have a sample part with a notation of insertion holes, fold lines, and insertion tabs, what they are, a legend. Now this is expanded upon older directions, which I think this is kind of an older model, so this would have been updated. I actually have all of these things included under legend. Any points at a non-engraved side, there's no engraving on that side. Um, e points at an engraved side, there's some sort of engraving or detail on that side. This is an attention point, usually means to make sure you align this with that, maybe a certain tab in a certain way. Blue circle, when you see that at a connection point, it means to fold the tab over 90 degrees. Green triangle means to insert and twist the tab 90 degrees. And some assembly tips, recommended tools, and I'll show you here in a second what I'll use. And then we have the sheet down at the bottom, or a diagram of the sheet, if I could line it up. Shows you all the part numbers, pointing at all the parts, so you can find them on the sheets, so you can build the model in the assembly flowchart, which starts over on page two. And this one isn't actually pages like a lot of the newer uh, directions, but just kind of sections. So page one is this quarter over here, page two is this quarter. You start with part one, part two, put them together with three in between, and fold the tabs over. You can see the blue circles here mean to insert and fold those tabs. Then slide down here, add on parts four, there's two of them, and slide down here and you've got that. When you get halfway, I folded these directions in half, you go down to the bottom quarter to page three, pick up the five, six, and seven, another four, go down here, put this together, slide over to page four, add these parts on, add those parts on, and then you're done. It's a pretty quick model. Talk about some tools real quick, and we'll start putting this together. Let's take a moment to talk about the tools that I use. This is my standard set that I use in most every build. I have long needle nose pliers and flat nose pliers useful for a variety of different things. I have flush clippers that I use to cut the parts off the trees. It makes it quick and easy. And then I have some precision tweezers, one with a very pointed end, one that's had the pointed end ground down slightly, and one with a flat sort of curved end great for getting into curved areas. And then I have a standard set of tweezers with an angled tip. These come in one of the Iconics models and I love them and use them a lot. I've got my basic tools to get started. Got my metal sheet, we've looked at the directions. I'm all set to go. Let's put this little bridge together. The directions indicate to fold the tabs over. Ultimately, that is what I want to do. It makes for a cleaner look. However, as I often do, I'm going to lightly twist the tabs here to get started and come back later when there is more support and untwist those tabs and fold them over. 
The instructions do not say which way to face the engraved side of part 4. I should have looked ahead in the assembly flow chart to get a better idea of which way to face it, but I didn't. Face the engraved side towards the center of the bridge here. There are end pieces that attach later that will cover one side up, and later I will realize my mistake and flip these parts. I also had some issues with the tabs holding the parts in the sheets not clipping cleanly and had to go back and trim the excess metal off so parts would sit better. I realized as I was putting the end pieces together that I would need to flip the two parts on the end of the main span. While I am at it, I might as well straighten out the lightly twisted tabs and fold them over. With parts 8, I bent the lower pieces before attaching it to the main sections, but quickly learned that I should have waited to bend them until after connected. The lower flaps like to hang up on the bottom, causing problems. I initially tried to bend the side tabs over here by pinching them together. It did not go so well. There is not quite enough room for both tabs. I could have done it, but I opted later to just bend them outward. Sometimes things just go wrong. I took too much of a chance and slipped and it caused a little damage, but I mostly straightened things out. It was at this point I decided to bend the tabs outwards.
On this side, I had to push a couple of the tabs aside to make room for things to sit flat. Now to bend all of these flaps at the bottom of part 8 so that I can attach the bases. There are a lot of tabs in a small space here. It took a little time to get them all lined up. And I also had issue on the one side with the small flaps kind of bending upwards and the tabs not pushing all the way through. So I had to kind of pinch them down a little bit. And I'm done. Pretty quick and simple build, aside from a few errors and mistakes, but you know, that's main, one of the main reasons I put these videos up, to help people, and part of helping is making these mistakes so that you don't have to, and showing you how I do it, the mistakes I made, how to avoid them, and to help you with your build. Really, it was a pretty quick build. There were some interruptions during the build that made it take a little bit longer. It probably took it didn't even take an hour for me to put it together and had I not made the mistakes and had I not been interrupted it probably would have taken less time than that. So this is a fairly quick and simple and easy build to put together and because it's not overly complicated and a whole lot of parts it comes together pretty clean and straight and even unlike some of the other bridges that I had to do a lot of playing around with to straighten out. This one does have a little bit of a crook at the end I had to work on straightening out and you know my little boo-boo which is not as noticeable as it was but some of the some of these models some of these bridges there's so many different parts to them that it's kind of hard to put them together straight and it's a little bit of a challenge this one not so much pretty straightforward and simple i'll leave it at that as always thank you for watching if you enjoyed these build videos please consider supporting the channel help more interesting builds in the future, bigger, larger, because I definitely want to keep going and keep doing more. You don't have to. I'm going to keep doing this anyway. 
but I appreciate any support that you give. Check out my link to my Patreon page in the description down below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.